Hi there, this is Swapna from SwapnaThomas.com. I'm a content alchemist to fearless creators and I help small business owners like you to conquer big, hairy, audacious content goals. Uh, today I am bringing a quick tutorial for you, a Canva tutorial for you to show you how you can customize stock photos to match with your brand. Um, so all of us use photos in our social media, in our offers, in our sales pages and most of the time we end up using stock photos. Uh, however, you know, there, there are the same stock photos everywhere being used and if you're using free stock photos, chances are more or less, you know, you will see this other people using the same stock photos. But with Canva, you can actually stand out with your pictures even if you're using the same stock photos that everybody else is using. And I'm going to show you how. So uh, today we're going to create social media images. And one of my favorite uh, sources for uh, free stock photos is unsplash.com. There are plenty of other um, uh, places where you can get free stock photos, but unsplash happens to be one of my favorite. So I have already gotten uh, this amazing photo from Unsplash. Uh, it's of a workspace and I'm going to show you how you can customize this one stock photo in three different ways to match with your brand and your personality and basically, you know, give it an interesting twist. So the first thing you do is you basically just uh, once you have uploaded uh, the image into your uh, Canva, click on it and it will uh, be, you know, it will just come here and then all you need to do is stretch it to fit your layout and you can play with, you know, how much you want to uh, increase the zoom and yeah. So basically just stretch it until you are happy with the way it is looking. Now the first way you can make this image look different from you know anyone else who uses the same stock photo is to go to elements and click on shapes and from here just pick this square and stretch it over your layout like this. Now this is my brand color so you can you know play around with your brand color so I'm choosing this one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here and adjust the transparency. So I'm going to make the transparency somewhere around say 45 so it's you know I can still see the image it's really popping out but at the same time um, it's, it's giving me a whole new look because I have my brand colors um, you know over it. Um, as a lay layout so this is one way you can uh, you know customize your bra your stock photos if I change the color of this it will look completely different right so it's the same stock photo but it, it looks different from anyone else who's using the same photo um, the second way you can do this is even simpler just go to filter and start playing with the filters that Canva already has. You don't even have to do anything for it. Just go and click filter and you can get a grayscale and you can increase the intensity of it or decrease the intensity of it, totally up to you. There are a lot of uh, different filters you can play around with. <clears throat> and again, it gives such a different vibe to your photo that you know, um, even if someone else is using it, it will look very, very, very very customized to your brand so this is the second way you can you know play around with uh, stock photos the third way is to use gradients now if you type gradient in the canva search bar you will find all these gradients come up for you now many of them are free there are paid ones as well but we're just going to use the uh, free ones and I really like the look of this one. So just click on it, stretch it over your image and you can see that you, I can change the colors here as well. So I'm just going to change it to my brand colors and decrease the transparency to a little bit more 
and that's it now I can add text over it and space that text a little bit increase the font size align it to the center of the image and that's it same image but it looks completely different now right uh, just let let's just play around with another gradient here so you can see how you can change it even more so I'm going to use this gradient right now and okay this one will not work because it's completely plain so the image will go away you can still use it but the image will it will not work on, uh, over the image so it has to be slightly transparent to make sure that you know you're using if you're using gradients it has to be slightly transparent to come over your existing images so i'm using this simple gradient now and i think i've used it twice just to leave this one and i'll arrange it to go back so that my text stands out and reduce the transparency a little bit more i can change the font color so basically just play around with it a little bit you know and you'll discover the right combinations for colors and fonts so this is the third way you can customize your image and the final uh, way that you can customize your stock photos is by using frames now if you type frames into the canvas search bar you will get all these frames so there are, there are these you know simple borders that you can use but uh, if you scroll down a little bit more you will find some really interesting frames like mm, let me just scroll down a little bit more like this one so um let's delete this let's use this frame and go back and click on my photograph and that's it so now my photo is in the frame and you can see it adds such an interesting visual element to my stock photo and I can make sure that it aligns centrally and I can use it as it is or I can add some text over it as well yeah so this is uh, this let's use another frame just to show you what else is possible I'll delete this one and let's use this one now so go back to uploads get your photo inside the frame stretch it you know till you find the right layout that you would like um, you can really use something like this on if you're creating a you know a ebook you can use it to create really interesting uh, covers for your ebook and again let me just I'll just change the font this time to show you a different look increase the font size and the letter spacing get here so it's the same stock photo we have customized it four different ways and that that makes sure that you know even if you're using the same stock photos as everybody else yours will stand out so that's it get trying with this